What's up, people? Daniel in the morning, and uh, ranch, and I got some fucking rabbit food over here with some steak in it. That's, how, that's the only way to eat rabbit food. Um, making sure my fucking ranch is okay. Um, so, I was just reading these tweets about Brexit, and it's hilarious. It's, it's really hilarious. Uh, one of the greatest empires, not, not even that long ago, a hundred years ago, England was one of the greatest empires to ever exist on the fucking planet. The sun did not set on the English empire. What the fuck has happened to that fucking country? Where there are people who live in that country that don't want it to be a sovereign nation. <sighs> so, I just don't, I just don't get it, man. Maybe one of you fucking English people can fucking explain to me why the fuck you want to live in a country where your government is not in charge of your fucking country. And I don't give a fuck if 98% of your country is run by your fucking government. What happened to that other 2%? How easy is it to take another little 2%? And I've, I've heard rumblings of a fucking European Union military. Are you fucking kidding me? You're not a united country. They don't need a fucking military. Here's what's fucking crazy. Less than 100 years ago... 100 years ago, the First World War, more, a little bit, about around 100 years ago, the First World War fucking blew up. People fought Germany, right? Germany did a ton of damage. After that, World War II happened. Germany was trying to take over Europe. You, you fucking basically handed them fucking Europe. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Oh my fucking god, dude. I don't get it. England has... England is fine. One of the strongest militaries in the world. What, fourth or fifth, I believe? Off the top of my head. Uh, great fucking special forces. Man, I so bad want to eat this. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off until I'm finished. Um... You've got a fine economy. I think there's second largest video game uh, in the world. And I and I noticed that fucking... To, to understand, Great Britain's economy is really good. It's good. The guys don't need fucking the rest of Europe. What, it might inconvenience some of you? Who gives a fuck? Inconvenience. I'm inconvenienced. I can't just go to whatever fucking country I want within the European Union. You know what? Too fucking bad, dude. I'd rather be inconvenienced and know that when I vote, it matters. There are non-elected official officials in the European Union who have power over fucking laws. How the fuck does that happen? Oh my fucking god, dude. The the closest we have to that is our Supreme Court. And our elected we are a republic. So our elect elected elected Wow. My fucking You know what I'm trying to say? The people we elected are there and they make that decision and it's just not like one or two, it's like a collective. I was reading about the fucking European Union. Dude, if that was our fucking country, Second Amendment, that's all I'm saying, what it's there for. You fucking guys. Any country that wants to stay and look at it. Look at the way, that, oh, dude, I, look at the way they treated Greece. You're supposed to be two steps away from fucking United States of America. A united fucking country. One fucking currency. What the fuck is going on? With Greece. You put them in debt. You borrow money. 
I don't, I don't, I don't understand this fucking concept where, uh, you're half in. Look, uh, half measures never work. So the Euro European Union is going to either fall apart or it's going to turn into a completely its own fucking country. This fucking wavering, you know, uh, uh, piss or get off the pot kind of shit. Uh, you either need to fucking make the decision to become a single unified country. Uh, the United States, uh, a union of states, right? We have a federal government, uh, and there are state governments. Uh, and there's, you know, even our states have a lot of power, not nearly as much as I used to, which is a, a sad state of affairs. Uh, they should have more power. But uh, it, it either needs to go one way or another uh, because England doesn't need, it doesn't need fucking, is it going to be a, a little bit of a rough ride after they fucking separate? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of a rough ride. Uh, some new shit has to be done. Uh, trade deals. Uh, but guess what? We're right here. The U.S. ain't going nowhere. We've been, we've had, we've, we've been in good fucking terms with England, the U.K. for a long time. So, that won't be an issue. Uh, I'm not sure why people even want to be part of the European Union. Rules can be made. You already there was already the European Union. There was already a group. Hey, this is we're together. We don't want another world war to start because of us. I understand that, but when you took that step for a unified currency, uh, and now you got fucking countries that aren't even control of their borders. It's just I just understand it, man. And people are mad. Um, I just, I, I, I was, I was blown away when I was reading shit about the European Union. Just fucking blown away. We fucking bitch about, we bitch about fucking our, our fucking elected officials all the time, but they're fucking, every single one of them's elected official. Uh, you guys got fucking people not even elected. Well, I don't know how the fuck they get in there. Dude, I'm sure that some fucking guy who knows a lot more than I do is like, you know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, it doesn't look good to me. It doesn't look good from the outside. Uh, it shit or get off the pot. That's all I'm saying to the European Union and the people in the European Union. If you're not going to fucking unify, why the fuck have a European Union? Just fucking separate come together say all right this is a, a, a free fucking uh, a free travel center you know if you're if you're a, a citizen of France uh, you don't require or it used to be that ever require a passport to go to Canada it used to be you could just travel up to Canada no big deal right or, or, or fucking Canadians come down here and shop and whatnot <laughs> uh, now it's just now it's just stupid bro now you gotta have a fucking passport to go get some fucking maple syrup and that's fucking garbage <laughs> uh, so yeah I think it's garbage uh, door number six what else do I want to talk about? EA. What the fuck, EA? <laughs> Canceling another Star Wars game. Holy shit, EA. There's no way that they're getting this fucking license again. I just, I can't imagine uh, this, them getting the Star Wars license again. If I was, if I was Disney, uh, there's so much money in Star Wars. They got rid of. They got Star Wars IP. Marvel 
And then they shut down their fucking games division? That doesn't seem very smart. Anyways, uh, someone brought up that uh, Ubisoft would be a good company, but I don't want to see them do anything like that. I want to see them kind of spread the love. Uh, give Ubisoft like a game or two. Uh, give, uh, give uh, you know, Nordic a game or two. Give fucking somebody else a game or two. Do that. Don't fucking do what. Don't give EA fucking. Oh my god, dude. EA, why would you do this? And there's all these fucking developers out here more than capable of making a game. Uh, third party independent developers that can make games for you. Uh, you should have them making games. Gearbox could make a game. Uh, you could have had Obsidian could have made KOTOR 3. But no. Gotta put it in the Old Republic. Fucking stupid ass game too. Let me throw that back there. So, anyways. Telling, they, were, they were making jokes about it, but as far as I... I can't think of a good... A good Star Wars game since 09, 08. That was uh, Republic Commando, maybe. It's the last really good one I played. Um, where you played the squad base, you, you I think it was. Uh, oh, right before he initiated. The uh, the protocol I can't remember what it was called. Off the top of my head, I just got off work, guys. Give me a break. Uh, but yeah, old the uh, Republic Commando, Republic something. Look for it on Steam. I'm sure you can find it. I own it. Pretty sure I own it, anyways. Um, that's it. This has gone on for way too long. Peace out, guys. Uh, maybe I'll put up another one. I still don't get fucking Brexit. That's what I do to fucking Germany. Brussels. Fuck you, Brussels. You might as well be Germany. <laughs>